Hey everyone, welcome to part two of the Bear Game tutorial. I'm Dr. Martin Lockstrom, Executive Director of International Institute of Operations Management. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to play our online single player version of the Bear Game. To get started, you simply navigate to www.iiom web.org slash beergame slash login.php which will take you to the login page. The link will follow in the description below. Here you can fill in your personal details and after hitting the start game button you will be taken to actual game page. So let's do it. The main benefit of the online version of the game is that it doesn't require any effort to set up or administer, as all the heavy lifting is handled by the computer. In a classroom setting, however, it's not uncommon to spend half an hour to an hour to set up the physical game and instruct the students, leaving less time for actually playing the game. Furthermore, during the game itself, it can sometimes be a challenge for the students to do the bookkeeping. In particular, the recording of backlog is an area prone to human error which ultimately will distort the results. From a UI perspective, a version of the game is very simple and intuitive, without any unnecessary clutter. This in order to minimize preparation and setup time. It's basically a dashboard comprising seven charts, representing the game board in the offline version of the game, namely customer demand, backlog, supply chain cost, order quantity, outbound inventory, main inventory, and inbound inventory. In virtue of showing statistics in the shape of line charts, it's easier to keep track of longitudinal data and observe trends. The game is initialized to main inventory of 12, inbound inventory of 4, supply chain cost of 12, order quantity of 4, and outbound inventory equal to customer demand. The latter is initialized to random value, which will then follow an autoregressive random walk. Reason for this quirk is because we believe the way demand is generated in the offline version of the game was too simplistic and not very realistic, and a more sophisticated version could be easily implemented in the online version. At the bottom of the screen, we have a row of controls moving from left to the right as follows. To the left, there's a text input box where the user enters the desired order quantity. This can be a number between 0 and 100. This is actually the only input required from the user in this game. To the right is a submit button, which the user presses to submit the order. The third button from the left, labeled new game, resets the current game and starts another one. The fourth button, labeled scoreboard, opens a new window showing the leaderboard of players. After finishing a round of the game, you have the opportunity to add your score to the leaderboard. For players that achieve a score lower than 50, i.e. supply chain cost, wins a free IIOM online certification program. So it's worthwhile giving it a try a few times. Moving on, the fifth item is not a button, but a text box showing the current iteration of the current game, being a number between 1 to 20. The sixth item is the chart legend, indicating which charge curve is which. The right is a button with an eye symbol, enabling toggling of supply chain visibility. When switched on, the state of all four supply chain echelons will be displayed, in this way simulating full supply chain visibility. When switched off, only the player's own data is being shown. The latter should be the default state, where imperfect visibility better reflects reality. It's also recommended to let students play both modes and ask them to analyze and reflect on the difference in performance between the two. Moving on, the eighth button of the second to the right logs out the user, and the last button opens a dialog box showing guideline information. Now, moving on to the game itself, it's already initialized upon loading, hence no need to hit the new game button from the onset. Please note that in the single player mode, the player always represents the retail supply chain echelon. 
The only thing the player now has to do is observing the charts and use its own knowledge, expertise, and intuition to decide how much to order for the next iteration of the game. Once decided, the user simply enters its desired order quantity in the order quantity box as explained previously and hit the submit button. Immediately, the computer will generate corresponding input for the other three supply chain echelons and update the charts accordingly. Following this procedure, the player then simply proceeds by repeatedly analyzing the charts, then entering and submitting desired order quantity, and so forth. Once the game is complete, a button reading Add to Scoreboard will appear, allowing the player to add his or her score to the scoreboard, thereby enabling the user to win participation in the IIOM online certification course, but also benchmark against his or her peers. The player may now choose to simply close down the browser window or log out by hitting the logout button. Okay, it's now time to play the game. Please observe my actions. Okay, we have now completed one round of the game, and as you can see, I achieved a uh, total supply chain cost of 92. And also, if we observe the four different curves in each chart, we can also see the effect from the bullwhip effect, where the amplification of order quantity is um, very clear as we move upstream in the supply chain with a bigger volatility of these KPIs as we go from retailer to wholesaler to distributor and finally factory. And as I said, if we press this I button, we can toggle supply chain visibility on and off. And as I said, the default mode should be supply chain visibility toggle off in order to better reflect reality. Okay, so now we can add our score to the scoreboard and see where we end up by clicking the scoreboard button. Right, so here we can see that uh, the leader of the scoreboard is a PhD student from University of Cincinnati. Very well done, score of 38. That's very good indeed. And then if we score down, let's see where. My score is, yes, here, place 44. And corresponding date. Okay, that's all for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I wish you much fun and success with our online beer game ahead. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.